people which that was involved with it in the very beginning just was taking a class, saw her dose of you, she's like, hey, you want to do shoes? And I'm like, why not? Try anything once, right? So, uh, so I did the shoes and I just kind of approached it like a normal painting you know, that you could wear. I still wanted them to be able to be wearable. You could wear it if you wanted to. I'm used to working with a variety of shapes anyway, so it wasn't really that difficult for that. Um, I mean, like this rubber down here was tricky because there was no paint wanted to stick on there. And because uh, I tried to do a technique like this, similar on the side, and a lot of it wanted to kept just scraping off, and so it looks a bit different. Um, and then. Uh, I don't know. And then I have, my, like, the way I conceived it was, this is like one piece, yeah. you know, like a diptych, where, you know, you can look at it from the top and it goes continuous. Well, I mean, I just approached just like a diptych and that I, when I primed them, I still get to approach it like in my, all my other work with the string laying down, which was the basis of my imagery of those lines. And then I just gestoed both of them and laid the string as their one piece and then just looked at it as one piece instead of two separate pieces. Oh, uh, when I run out of things to do to it, you know, because if I, now on my list of things that I wanted to do or it just feels complete, it's kind of a hard line to know exactly when done is done and how much is too much. Uh, but you know, and it's just like experience, practice, same thing. That's just what keeps me going, you know, and I don't know what's going to happen. I just like, what happens? I'll mix this together, see what happens, I don't know. Well, I kind of have a list of like two or three different things that, you know, that I, I was like, oh, I need to do something like this, or, you know. So I'm doing some more shaped pieces, some that are, you know, just like a regular canvas that are bowed in in the middle. You know, like, uh, I have that entered in Momentum Tulsa. And then another one, like I'm going to do two or three of these. It's like those old tile games where like the missing square and you rearrange it. Yeah. It'll be an interactive piece that you can move the tiles around. Um, so I'm doing that and some more sculptural stuff. Okay. So pretty, mu pretty much anything and everything. Oh yeah. Thank you. All right.